Hey guys, this is Mark with Apple Tech One Tweet, and in this video, we are going to be showing you how to control your Nest using Siri and a Raspberry Pi. To control your Nest and other smart devices using HomeKit on devices that are not yet supported, there's a nice program out there called HomeBridge. This turns your computer into a server and allows Siri to communicate with your smart devices by communicating through the computer. Homebridge is the program that is used to do that process and it runs on many computers. Now I was interested in finding a way to turn my Raspberry Pi into that server. I don't keep my computers on and I don't want to have this big computer running all the time. I thought it'd be beneficial to have just a small computer or a Raspberry Pi running and it doesn't take up much power and it's dedicated to just doing that. So in this video I'm going to show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a HomeKit server using HomeBridge. So first we need a Raspberry Pi that is going to work on every single one for the most part so you don't have to worry about which one you have. You also need to consider your networking options. You can either go over Wi-Fi or Ethernet. I'm going to go over Ethernet in this case because it's a little bit more reliable but it does work on Wi-Fi so that's nice as well. Next we need to take into consideration what operating system we're going to run. You're going to need to be running Raspbian but there's two different versions. There is a light version with no desktop experience. It's entirely terminal-based commands. And the other one is a desktop um, Mac or Windows-like experience. It doesn't really matter. Many people preferred using just the terminal-based uh, version for this because it does take up less power. But I like having a desktop experience. So that's what I'm going with. It really doesn't matter, though. Next, we will go ahead and install the operating system. You can follow other instructions on doing that. And you're going to want to go ahead and connect to it either with a display and a keyboard or remotely using something like VNC or over a terminal command, however you want to do that. Um, you'll go ahead and connect to it. And if you're going through a desktop experience, you're going to want to open up the terminal window and you will go ahead and type in the following code. So you're going to type in C-U-R-L-S-S-L and then I've made a URL here that will go ahead and uh, allow you to um, paste that in and run all of the commands at once. You don't have to do them one after another. Then we'll have a vertical line and say bash and hit enter. That will run through all of the programming and then we'll install everything. It will take quite a while. So let that run and we'll be back once that's done. Okay, so now that we are up and running, you're gonna to wanna to say cd.homebridge slash and we will go ahead and type in ls to show us a list of all the files in that directory. You shouldn't see anything really. And what we're trying to find out is if there is a config.json file. For the most part, there's probably not going to be one. So you will say nano config.json. That'll open up a text editor and you're going to want to enter in the code that you see on the screen right here. And in the username and password, you're going to enter in your email address and your password for um, your nest. After that's done, we'll go ahead and save that and close it out. Then we will type in HomeBridge and get that running. It'll take a little bit to run. And as you can see, mine has a bunch of errors and warnings. Um, and it may default back to legacy mode, but that's not a big issue here. And just let it run. And eventually it'll show you your um, number. And now we'll go ahead on over to our iPhone and we will go ahead and set up HomeBridge. So inside of the home app, we will add a new device. If it does not automatically recognize one, we will say that we can't scan it and we'll enter in that code manually. Then it will connect to HomeBridge. It'll show all your devices. We'll add our Nest. And you can see it's now working. It shows the temperature. It gives me a slider. I can change it from heat to air conditioning or off. And it works in the home app using Siri and in the control center. But there you go. That's it. Super simple and easy to do. Um, it works awesome. I have no issues and it, I just love this thing. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Apple Tech One Tweet and I'll see you in the next one.